Hello and welcome to Let's Dance Swing. I'm your host, John Hill, and this is my partner, Monica. Today we're going to be leading you through a number of turns, some basic swing, and keep in mind that you need to have a partner. It helps. And we're always going to start off from the beginning. That means using our left foot, gentlemen, ladies, using your right foot. So stick with us today and also make sure to view those previous shows that will help you get to you to this point. So gentlemen, you're going to start with your left foot, ladies, with your right. We're just taking four steps, starting with our basic. Takes us about two seconds here, so just bear with us. So it's going to be one, then two, then back step. One, two, back step. You notice my thumbs are on top, or I'm going to be dancing in a closed position. What I was dancing previously is an open position. So we're just doing four basic steps. So it's one, two, back step. Now moving into what we're doing for today is we're going to lead our partner through a series of turns. Some people call it a pretzel. It's not important to know the name though. What is important is to know how to do it. So gentlemen, I'm just going to lead with my left hand, lead my partner, Monica, to walk through. I'm going to walk behind her. I'm going to walk behind her again, then lead her around. And you notice at no time does my hand leave my arm. And that's very important. You don't want your hand to leave your arm. So gentlemen, how do we do this? You like that, Monica? So I'm going to use my left hand to lead this. Her first step is her most important. So ladies, you want to have a little bit of tension right here and right here so that your arm doesn't move, but your whole body moves in that direction. So I'm going to do one, two, back step. Off of the back step, I'm going to lead Monica towards me with her right foot, and I'm going to step behind her with my left foot. As she walks through, we're now in this position. And I'm not holding on really tight with my right hand. I'm allowing her hand to dictate how it feels because her arm is behind her back, not my arm. We're going to do the exact same thing. I'm leading with my left hand, and I'm going to lead Monica to follow with her right foot and her right hand. So we're going to do one, two, back step, then one, two, back step. You see her arm behind her back, and you notice how I make sure it's comfortable. I'm not holding on really tight. Very important. So gentlemen, we've already led our partner through. We're going to do that one more time. We're going to be right in the middle of the pretzel. So stop with me after the first step. So I'm going to lead Monica through right here. One, two. Then I stop with my back left foot, and she's back on her right. You notice how I'm facing toward her. I'm not completely turned. I'm still facing towards my partner. The reason being is I'm showing her where I am. If I'm standing back here, and she has no idea where I am. So it's important to come out in front of your partner and keeping your hips your center towards your partner. So from here, I'm going to take her right hand, my left hand, lead it over my head. As I do that, I'm pushing through. See my right hand right here? Right here, my right hand. I'm going to push through with that as I take this over my head. So if I take this over my head and I push through, you notice what I'm doing. I'm just switching places. As I'm switching places, I'm back to my left behind me, her right behind her. So we'll try that one more time, and then we'll switch the angle. So it's going to be one, two, back step, one, two, back step, push through, back step. You notice after I'm done, I bring out her arm from behind my head and put it back over here because all I'm doing is exchanging places and going to the other side of my partner, Monica, so she knows where I am. We're going to try this from a different angle now, the exact same step. So here I'm going to do one, two, back step, one, two, back step, push, through, back step. So you notice I'm always facing towards my partner when I'm done. That's very important. Make sure that she knows where I am so that she has faith in what I'm leading her through. Otherwise, it might look a little bit like this. Oh, she had no faith in me whatsoever. None. So let's try that one more time, and then we're going to speed it up just a notch. But the idea is, gentlemen, her first step, your first step, is the most important. So make sure that she's right with you. So right here. And right here. Now how we're going to finish this is I'm going to walk back through the same way I came into it. So I'm going to take this, my right hand over my head again, and I'm going to push through with my left hand. This is my left hand. I'm going to push through with my left hand. So as I'm pushing through, I'm right back to the other side, right back to the very beginning, and I lead my partner out of it with a turn. We're going to try that one more time. 
Now keep in mind, if you're not comfortable doing all of these motions, you can just start off here, get comfortable with this, and then lead your partner around. All we left out was the pretzel. So you're not doing the pretzel, but you can work towards it. And make sure to check out the previous shows, learn some other moves. And then right there, that's how I lead my partner out. Let me focus on the ending one more time, then we'll wrap it up, put everything together for you. So right here, we're at the very beginning. I have Monica's right hand up, and you notice it's not over here. As soon as it's over here, I'm uncomfortable because I'm, I'm going to pretzel all by myself. So I want to have her right hand here, and my right hand is by her waist. So I'm going to lead my left hand, which is attached to her right hand, around her, and then we're back to the beginning. That's how we're finishing it. You can finish it another way, many different ways, but the idea is I'm just trying to show you the basic pretzel. So we're going to go through the whole procedure and then break it down one more time. So it's going to be one, two, back step, one, two, back step, one, two, back step, one, two, back step, around, two, back step. So we're going to try this from a different angle, the same thing, and the idea is keep in mind you're making sure that your partner is comfortable. As soon as I start doing this with Monica and she doesn't know what I'm doing and I'm running through this all quick, she has no idea where I am. I don't know where I am. So I want to make sure that I'm keeping on time with the music. How'd that feel, Monica? Not good. Okay. So let's try that again. So from right here, around. Then we're going back to back. One more time, back to back. And then around, back to the beginning. He knows my feet never left the ground. My hands never left my arms. My partner, we never left our hands. That's another thing that I want to address now, is when I'm leading Monica, my partner, I'm making sure that my thumbs are not attached. What I mean by that, see my thumbs? Taking them away. Because if I try to hold on with my thumbs the whole time, I'm gripping too tight and not allowing her hands to follow mine. Because if you notice, I'll take my thumbs off, At no time am I holding on. It's just tension that we have that, that, that is keeping us together. And I'm pushing through. Notice how my thumbs, I'm not holding on tightly. That's very important so somebody doesn't break a wrist. And also, if you slow it down and do it slow, it's a lot easier. So we're just going to walk through what we just did. We're doing the pretzel. There's many different versions to the pretzel. You can have it with mustard. You can have it on the street corner in Philly or New York. But here, we're doing it on Let's Dance Swing with my partner, Monica, and I'm John Hill. So here we go. You notice how I'm just walking through, making sure at all times that I'm comfortable and she is comfortable. If I try to run through it, I'll repeat that one more time. If I try to run through it, it looks a little something like this. And you couldn't see the look on her face like I could, and it wasn't good. So the idea is to make sure that your partner is comfortable and that you are comfortable with the steps that you're doing. It's not the speed. It's making sure that you're on time with the music. Very important. So we're going to try this one more time. And keep in mind, gentlemen, that basic rotation that you're doing when you're dancing swing, it's going to help you out. Because now, if I do that basic rotation, right after I'm done, right there. It makes it a lot easier on her because I'm not standing in one place and expecting her to do all the motion. So gentlemen, all I do when I'm starting off is I'm looking for a bass beat with music. I want to make sure that it's consistent. Make sure that my partner's with me. So now I'm going to lead Monica through this. There we are. You'll notice, I always make sure that Monica knows where I am. I always want to make sure that I'm taking my body and facing it towards her. So right here, I'm looking at my partner. So right here, gentlemen, when I'm leading Monica through this pretzel, version of the pretzel, remember from those vendors you can get pretty good pretzel. But this is a swing pretzel. So the idea is I want to have a little bit of tension. The idea of that tension is it's just enough. If we're leaning towards each other, we have just enough tension to hold each other up. 
So it's just like life. It lets you know that your partner's there and lets you know that you're there. So as I lead her through this, that's what makes sure that her foot, her right foot, is her first step. So right there. Because if I don't have that first step from her, it's not going to be comfortable. The only thing that would be moving is her arm. So I want to make sure I have tension in my arm so that she knows to have some in her arms. So also, when I'm leading her through this, I'll focus one more time. You notice I'm looking towards my partner. That's very important because if I'm not and I'm over here, or I'm over here and behind her, she cannot see where I am. I'm going to pretzel all by myself. This isn't going to work. It's going to be a lot more uncomfortable. So we're looking for comfort for both people. The idea is we're diagonal, but we're facing towards each other, and we're comfortable. So remember that. So now as I push through, in order to make this comfortable, I'm going to push through with my right hand, and I'm going to take my left hand with me. So as I push through, you notice how we're trading places. She's going from one side to another side. We just switched positions. And we're going to go back and do the exact same thing. And you notice it only takes two steps. So just like we did before in our basic, we're just doing one, two, back step. So the motion occurs on the one and the two. The back step keeps you on time with the music and your partner. And you can do a very number, you can do a lot of different variations of the pretzel. You can do the Philadelphia pretzel. So once you get comfortable with one lead and having that tension, as long as your partner knows where to go on her first step, gentlemen, and you know what direction you're leading your partner on her first step, it's amazing how many doors of opportunity can open. Literally. Here's a doorway. There it goes. She stepped right through it. Here's another doorway. So keep that in mind. It's her first step. And I'm making sure she's comfortable and going in that direction. And I'm going in the opposite direction. But then somewhere in between that, we're dancing. And you notice we're, we're always trying to rotate. If I don't rotate and I try and lead my partner through something like this, you notice how I'm completely off time. My feet aren't moving because I'm standing in one place. There's no way she can jump back and forth with her arms behind her. Keep that in mind. Thanks for tuning in to Let's Dance Swing. I'm your host, John Hill, and this is my partner, Monica. Today we went over the pretzel, and we used a variety of different techniques and leads and the follow along with the footwork, the arm work that makes it all work. And gentlemen, keep in mind you're leading your partner. You're not pushing or pulling, especially through a step like this. Very important. Thanks for tuning in today and remember to check out the previous shows to bring you up to date from where we are today.